I've never laughed this hard on this fucking podcast. It's showtime. Let's kick some ass. All your base are belong to us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 3 Hit Combo Podcast, the world's only podcast that's been waiting for you because the Diablo 3 servers have crashed. My name is Matt, and I'm here with Skylar and Andy. What's up, guys? I bought Diablo 3. Did you? Have but you I, bought it it like, I bought it like two days later. Oh, really? So I got on. So you got on? But it's, be- it's beautiful. Is it? It's beautiful. I love it. I, uh... Brings me back to 2004. Yeah. I, I haven't been doing anything with uh, with Diablo. I didn't, didn't end up getting it, but... I'm I'm just waiting for Guild Wars. See, I wasn't gonna get it, and then the only the only exception I said was if the four original people I played with, D two, no no no, like the people that I played Diablo two with, my four buddies, if they played it, all got it, I would get it. And so the other night, George shows up at the bar, and he's like, he's like, hey, did you get Diablo three? And in the bar, I'm like, God damn it! (laughs) Now I have to get it. So, but I uh. I just got my copy of Skyrim back. Nice. It, the the lag seems oh. to have been fixed for me. So. Yeah, it's it got fixed for me when that update came out. So. Uh, one point zero five. Yeah, that one that one helped it out. For a while, I couldn't get in the water. Like anytime I tried to submerge myself, I would just the game would crash. Huh. So there are like bridges and stuff that are just like made out of like fallen trees. And there's one in particular where there's uh, a bandit that tries to attack you and I'm like this is made all the more perilous because if I fall into that water I will have to restart <laughs> shit <laughs> so I I just come at him with everything I had like I had to push Rodam and start flinging spells I'm like fuck you <laughs> uh, Andy I got something <clears throat> something I gotta tell you um, when I was at work this week uh, your girlfriend came by Andy, I'm not proud of this, but she offered me her muffins. <laughs> I forgot about and Andy, that. Andy, I, uh, I accepted. Were they good? They were fantastic. Did, they get, did you get some fiber? Did it get you loose? Were they soft? They were. Um, Andy, I, Andy, I apologize for this, so if you're going to be mad at anybody, be mad at her, not me. Threw her muffins at if you. If you can't see, there's bruises in this middle region here. That joke was but harder to do with Camilla looking right at me. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh. By the way, we also have Camilla in the background, so if you hear any tittering and giggling, it's more than just Andy this time. Yeah, that'll be... <laughs> <laughs> nice! Because I was just going to be like, tee uh, I, I do have one funny story. Uh, oh, you have a funny story for the podcast? No way. Yeah. Uh, I'll mention... No, there's... That's four t- for four Matt, Matt, three for three us. Three for everyone else that I've mentioned it. And now it's on the podcast. So. All right. Okay. So. Wait, uh, what kind of story is this? Yesterday uh, <laughs> at about six, I was uh, uh, serving people over at the Mutual of Omaha Club 25 uh, banquet. Okay. And then they ended up working me until like 1.30 in the morning. Huh. So. And I wasn't even serving for the last part. They hired me on as a server, but then I was dishwashing for five hours after my six hours of serving, or whatever. Was it fun dishwashing? No, no, it was not. It wasn't wacky, zany times like paid? seeing cartoons. Got paid like ten fifty an hour. So. Hey, yeah, that's good. Yeah. But um, uh, after I got done with that, it was like really late, and no one was driving around Omaha, so I like. Drove down Dodge, hit 72nd, and I'm like, I'll just, I'll just drive down 72nd, and hit up Walmart, and then I saw uh, Doctor John's, and I'm like, you know what? I don't think I've ever been in there. In fact, I'm sure I've never been in there. But I, uh, I, I drove into the parking lot. And I'm like, it's gonna happen. Tonight's the night. <laughs> I went in there, and I was just like perusing their wares. Like the lady, like <laughs> immediately approached me. He's like, I'm gonna need to see your ID. And I'm like, yeah, really? they do that. They do that for everybody. I guess, but really, me? Okay, so I I flash my ID and she's like, "Is there anything I can help you get?" And I'm like, "No." 
I mean, does anyone answer yes to that question? Yes, I'm looking for a four-inch dildo. Maybe pur- purple? Is that okay? So, uh, I was, I was just walking around, and I, uh, I happened to cross a, uh, a dildo that was, uh, $65 and 18 inches long. Yeah, was it the double-sided one? No, oh. but it was marketed as extra veiny. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, like, I was, I was shocked at, like, how, like, how big it was. So. Dude, did you look at the prices on the movies? <laughs> no, I, Dude, I... Dude, it's like 80 bucks for one. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I'm surprised you know that. <laughs> I look when I'm there. Okay. When I was perusing, I was more just, like, wasting time just for the story, uh-huh. but, like... I was I was browsing and I saw it. I was just like, "What the fuck is that?" Dude, you should have picked it up and walked around with it for like ten minutes, and then be like, "You know what? I don't want this anymore," and then just put it back. It was just, yeah, three inch diameter. I'm like, "This is gonna, mur- this is a murder weapon. <laughs> this is something you find on like CSI." <laughs> but I hope this all goes in the description of our YouTube. It's gonna be all over the soundboard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it shut this whole time. <laughs> when Andy hasn't blundered over it, I mean everything else is gold. When you guys were talking about the veiny, yeah. the veiny one, you guys had a good tandem one. There. Oh, that's good. <laughs> but <laughs> whole conversation, it was, like it was just, yeah, retardedly big. So, <laughs> and like when I stopped and looked at Eric? it, I could, I felt like the lady who was there was just like eyeballing me like oh so he's into that and i'm like damn she caught me <laughs> like i'm i just felt that every every step i took was like what she what's he's gonna stop at what's he gonna look at i bet that's what he's into were you the only one in there yeah it was me and that lady <laughs> and then it was very intimate. wouldn't that be funny if the song the every step you take which is your it's personal breath. favorite Mm-hmm. That's what you should ask her. Oh, oh which yeah. is your personal favorite? What do you recommend? Do you have any clearance items? <laughs> I like the gut puncher. Is there any pre-owned? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys rent? <laughs> I, want a, I want like a rent to own. Ooh. Do you lease? That's a good prank call idea. Yeah. <laughs> do you rent? You guys rent? All right, I finished my water bottle early. All so right. I'm going to try and make a shot and then we can probably scoot into our first segment. Yeah. All right. Here, here we go. go. He's going to make a shot. Oh! So fucking close! And now, gaming! These guys don't stand a chance. Grab your controller and brush up on your gaming lingo. You're gonna need it. This is Gaming News on 3 Hit Combo. Sit down and shut up. Thousands of gamers are furious. You know why? Is it because of Half Life 3? Oh, wait, no, never mind. That's 10. <laughs> You have to drop some zeros. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Tens of Ouch. gamers. Ouch, right here. <laughs> they're furious right here. because they're unable to play Diablo 3. You know what, it's fine. After waiting 12 years. You know what I also re- I forgot it was 12 years. 12 I thought years. it was 10. It's a bigger letdown. You know what I- someone, someone brought up, every time Blizzard releases a new game, the amount of people that buy it, they can't, because the servers always crash. It seems like a lot of- Oh yeah, doing that lately. yeah. It's like really, I, don't we have enough track record of this? Like, yeah. Can't you prepare a little? I think bit Call better? of Duties are like the only one, but they must have like more than World of Warcraft servers. Yeah. But yeah, like every time there's a new uh, World of Warcraft expansion, like solar system of Warcraft servers. Yeah. But uh, like World of Warcraft always crashes. Starcraft mm-hmm. crashes. Yeah, I think I remember Diablo two because I bought it launch day. I couldn't play for a little bit. Because there was a new patch. Weren't you in like 7th grade? Yeah. Okay. The gamers have been receiving Air 37 messages saying the servers were too busy, which prevented them from logging on. And once again, it, it everyone's like, oh, look how shitty online DMR is the and all that jazz. Rage. But, I mean, I was expecting it saves rage. Blizzard money. I, I just, like, I, I'm not as hardcore as I was into D2. And I'm not going to let that happen, because I have summer class. <laughs> and uh, Guild Wars. Yeah. Guild Wars might do it, though. That might put the like the knife in the heart. I wish oh. I knew when it was coming out. Oh, I, uh, Navy update. 
Oh, yeah, Navy update. I'm shipping out November 1st, so you guys have to put up with me for a little bit longer. Well, that's good. And then I'm going to be gone for like eight weeks, be back for a week. I don't know if I'll be able to, if that's going to coincide with a podcast, but. That'd be crazy. Uh, um, then. Do you know your assignment? Yeah, I'm going to be AECF, uh, Advanced Electronics slash Computers Field. Ooh. Basically, there's two different jobs I could have out of this. Uh, ET, which is the. Extraterrestrial. Yeah. Uh, what right. what that job entails is like the Phoning operation. Home. Yeah. <laughs> the operation and maintenance of like 2D and 3D radars Ooh. and uh, communication arrays. All right. And FC fire controlman uh, does the same thing, but with tactical weapons. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I make, wonder which one I'm going to go for. Make a Facebook post be like, hey, America. I got your weapons. Do, do we really want this guy? I stuck a tampon with vodka in my vagina. In charge of tactical weapons. <laughs> What's great is uh, people people have brought that up, and what <laughs> what my retort is is yes, they do because they're all paying me. You're gonna be paying my wages, Matt. <laughs> I wanted to thank you for that. You too, Andy. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your support. It's great. I thought your retort Ooh. would be. Would you like to try anal? <laughs> And my retort for that is yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Back to news. All right. This, this story is just kind of funny because uh, Activision planned a fake fire drill to hack Infinity Ward computers. <laughs> <laughs> Activision CEO what? Bobby Kotick ordered the hacking of Jason West and Jason Zampello's computers. West and Zampello are former Infinity Ward bosses who were part of a high-profile firing after evidence that they were colluding with Activision rivals EA. It is alleged by George Rose, chief legal officer at Activision, that the order to hack comes directly from Bobby, uh, internally dubbed Project Icebreaker. Seems like a weird name. Yeah. Sounds Uh, like a game. (laughs) It does. An attempt to uncover potential dirt that could have been used against West and Zampello. Project Solitaire. When remote access to email accounts provided unfeasible, their plan was to stage a mock fire drill to get West and Zampella away from their computers, and they they devised this plan but never actually carried it out. Oh my god, I was going to say, this would be some like Mission Impossible shit. (laughs) Like ninjas would fall through the ceiling as everyone's leaving. Everyone's rappelling down like elevator shafts and shit. Yeah. Climbing up through walls like in the Matrix or whatever. (laughs) Well... That's pretty clever. By the way, guys, we're going to have a fire drill around the 30-minute okay. mark of okay. this podcast. All right. Um, to get you guys out of here so I can take your phones or something. <laughs> Why wouldn't we take our phones? Yeah. I'm going to need question. to tell someone there's a fire. This, okay, we're going to have an actual fire in 30 minutes. We're going to need to run out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you just, your computer's got like a little like blowtorch in it. You're like, Rah! I mean, having a like just setting off a fire drill why not just go for the whole shebang and just set a fire in it yeah and just you know it's an actual fire everyone has to leave oh great and then hack the computers yeah everyone has to leave except for the people hacking the computers yeah i mean They're gonna firemen and be like why were you guys in here <laughs> firemen <laughs> all right guys a gta 5 vehicle list has been leaked Ooh. you know where it was it what? was on the disc of max Payne 3 was it really yeah that's random. Yeah, why was it there? But this has happened before with Rockstar Games, the most recent being the Red Dead Redemption game code. Was in what? It was on uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Huh. Do you think oh. it's intentional? Or? Yeah. Oh, God, I don't know. Um, Maybe it's one programmer who because, just gets dude, drunk and just like, can those are based. Those <laughs> are three separate development companies. Yeah, They're in three separate places. That's, yeah, that's weird i just don't know why uh, anyway a forum member on the gta forums posted the information and for some reason is apologizing for his actions even though he's left the information up for everyone to see <laughs> in total there are 48 cars and this is an incomplete list oh, okay obviously because it's pretty early but 48 cars five bikes 10 helicopters one plane 25 boats and nine trains 25 boats 25 boats and oh dude i hope there's a super train like a mag train, a oh, train. yeah I, uh, I hope the one plane is the Dodo so everyone gets pissed. <laughs> it's the Cuban 800. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. Damn. What do you know? That's also my nickname for Manny. <laughs> the Cuban 800. 
Um, a lot of these, I mean, there's names for a lot of these, but some of them are just like generic names. Oh, all right. The Pinto. Like, oh. no, no, like <laughs> Fishboat A, Fishboat B, oh, okay. Fishboat C. Oh, so they're probably just like. Those might be just they're... like color swaps. Yeah. There's the Reefer. That's a boat. Sweet. <laughs> Great. I hope it smokes. Like there's just billowing smoke clouds behind you. And, you... and the Woody. And the Smug. Well, you know. Huh. Smug. All right. It's just a boat that you can't drive without it, like, pointing its nose up. <laughs> yeah. Its nose is always in the air. It's prone to crashing. <laughs> oh, God. When it crashes, you know, the other people always have to pay for it, no matter what. Or it's just a boat that won't shut up. It's like, I'm carbon neutral <laughs> as you're driving it. <laughs> you know how many gallons of gas you've saved? Two. I'll update you in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Still at two. All right, uh, from GamingBolt.com, 11 announcements we want to see at E3 this year. I'm just going to kind of go through them, see if you guys agree. If you have anything to say, keep it to yourself. <laughs> that means half what this podcast there. is about. <laughs> Matt speaks at you. You respond <laughs> in a timely manner after the, after the segment. Uh, first one is Batman, Arkham 3, Skylar, speak. Eh. <laughs> I, didn't play any, I didn't play Arkham. So. Yeah. Yeah. I guess there's still three or four Easter eggs in that game that no one's found, the developers said. I'm not surprised, because they yeah. didn't find that secret room until yeah. the first Batman game. Yeah, they, until, like, yeah, they told yeah, they everyone. They to tell people. Yeah. That. It's like, hey, you guys missed this. <laughs> what was it? Um, isn't it Grand Theft Auto 4 that had, like, uh, game developers that would, like, walk the streets? Oh, if you played, there was, like, an achievement you got for killing a Rockstar employee. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Um. But it was like one of those viral achievements. Like, if I killed a Rockstar employee and then, like, you killed me in the game, you would get the achievement too. Got it. So that's how eventually it spreads. Like, there's, that. um, uh, what was it? Infamous 2, the level editor. If you downloaded a level made by one of the uh, level developers, like, on their own free time, then you got an achievement. Nice. Nice. Uh, Dragon Age Three is after that. Anyone play Dragon? Yeah, Age? I liked them. You liked it? I, I like Two I never, a lot more. Yeah, I've ne- I never played Dragon Age. You like Two a lot more than Three? It's not out yet. No, Two more than one. Oh, okay. Uh, another Biggest Metroid fucking game. Ever. Yeah, I can see that happening. Metroid with the Wii or whatever. Yeah, it's like they're only cash cow anymore. That and Smash Brothers, which is still like sixty bucks. <laughs> or Super Mario Wii U. All right. God damn. Yeah, sure. I yeah, mean, you, it'll you happen. Know there's gonna be a Super Mario yeah. Wii U. I don't, uh, Super Smash Brothers Four. Yep, that one's coming out for the. Maybe 3DS. they finally add fucking Mega Man. How about that? <laughs> now, do you want like actual Mega Man or like, or like Mega that, Man? No, from I want Tech. actual Mega Man. Mega not Man, Ca- Ca- Mega Man Carl. Yeah, not Mega Man Carl. Um, I'm not sure what title this is because I don't know anyone who plays it. But Killzone Four. Hey, <laughs> I like Killzones. Is, so do you is want time to... splitters on there? I, I'd be happy. Oh, I'd be God, happy about it. But yeah. I'm happy about this one. Battlefield Bad Company 3. Ooh. Bad Company series has been good. I didn't really like the change they made from 1 to 2, making it more serious than... Dude, Battlefield yeah, 3 was bring good. The, bring back the jokes. But The jokes are funny, but Battlefield Bad Company 2 was also... Even though they kind of changed their demeanors, it was still like... They yeah. still liked the characters. I, I haven't played 2. It was interesting. I've, I've seen, seen Dude, videos of it. there's still four more expansions coming out for... Or DLC for... Battlefield 3. Yeah, and th- they mentioned in here that it's probably not going to come out this year, and there's they already got a lot more legs out of Battlefield 3, and Medal of Honor might come out this year. So Ugh. they really, Yeah, I know. They need to just stop. I feel the same way. Yeah. But. Medal of Honor? Yeah. I just, didn't even know they still made those. <laughs> yeah, they try. Uh, God of War Vita is next. I can see that actually happening, yeah. Want to play God of War Vita again? I'm not going to, but I can see that happening. You can see it happening. Yeah, same thing. Quantum Dream's next project. Yeah. What did they make before? Heavy Rain. Oh. Oh. Mm. Heavy Rain was cool. Mm. <laughs> hey, the way you feel about Heavy Rain is the way I feel about L.A. Noir. Dude, L.A. Noir <laughs> was actually fun and had action sequences. Hey, well, how do you feel about Heavy Rain? Hey? <laughs> Heavy Rain was exactly... I'm asking Andy. I pointed exactly at him. Like I played stuff. it for two hours before I gave up because okay. it was slow. Heavy Rain was exactly like those FMVs on Sega CD. Except it was on a modern console, and now all of a sudden we love it. We'll and there were boobies. <laughs> there were boobies. Castlevania: Lords of Shadow Two. Not a big Castlevania fan, but I, I know a lot of they've they've been their recent games apparently have been well received. So. Oh, all right, cool. 
And oh, gaming bolt, you jokers! Last one's Angry Birds three, and it just says you mad. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Angry Next Birds is a Pokemon RPG. Yeah. Oh my God. Sure. We should yeah. like create a list of, like ten games that why aren't they made? Dude, Pokemon MMO. I would. I'd still be playing it to this day if it came out like Half Life three. Half Life. <laughs> Half Life three. <laughs> I'd enjoy Portal, but Half Life three. <laughs> I don't know what they can do with Portal. Portal seemed like it wrapped yeah, up. Yeah, it did wrap up Portal 2, so yeah. Yeah, well, you know what game wrapped up? The Halo trilogy. Yeah. And the next Halo trilogy is supposed to last 10 years. What? <laughs> Over the course of the next 10 years, we will get three Halo games. Jesus, at least God they're giving it. them... Is George Lucas involved? Because I Dude, feel like that's something he would do. One of like, these games is going to... make more! One of these games is gonna suck. Because if you divide oh, ten years between three, one game's not gonna get a lot of development time. <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope it's four, so it just starts off on a bad note. They have a lot of story left that they can use. That's the good thing. Oh, 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 oh. flat. <laughs> 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 okay. Hopefully they'll keep up tweaking the battle system because from Halo 1 to Halo Reach there was actually differences in the, how the game played. Dude, have you seen the new multiplayer mode for it? The like the sh it's the na it's the name of a ship, but I guess it's a constant ongoing battle between like a universe on like one of the giant battleships. Huh. Yeah. Borealis. I don't fucking know. The pillar of bottom. No. I don't know. It, it's called like something mission. That's the only Halo ship big name off the top. Yeah. Okay. But uh, our commandant. I hope I hope for multiplayer they get more creative with their maps because it seemed like from Halo One to Halo Reach they just got less and less creative. I liked Halo 3's maps. I was a fan of them. Yeah, I was a big fan of Halo One's and Halo 2's were pretty good. Halo Three was all right, and Halo Reach's maps were like, what you reprint. got? Reprint. Huh? This is what you're giving me. No, they weren't reprints. They were just boring. It's kind of like, dude, Modern Warfare Threes. Wasn't Boy. Halo Reach the one with like where it had just like a giant tower in the middle of it, and then it's like in a rocky canyon? That one was interesting, but the only part of it was the tower that was interesting. The rest of it was boring as shit. They should have kept Blood Gulch exactly how it was from the first game. Blood Gulch in the second game was good too. Bland and epic. <laughs> <laughs> just like a big salad with nothing in it but yeah. lettuce. But you enjoyed it. <laughs> Maybe with chicken broth. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it sounds horrible. Yeah. All right. All right. That will do it for gaming news. Sweet. You guys ready for some technology? Yeah. Uh, now. Let's do it. Back in my day. No one cares, old man. It's time for technology news with three hit combo. All right. We're going to start off with one of my favorite websites, lifehacker.com. Yeah. And they have a list here, the top 10 pervasive tech myths that are only wasting your time. All right. We're start off with 10. Better hardware specs equal better gadgets. Um, their, their argument here is that most people buy the current specs today are well beyond what anyone needs. Really? Maybe not you and me. That is true. But if, I guess like in like... But if like your mom bought a computer All right. and, All right. she, and she went for the, you know, the... AMD bulldozer or something. <laughs> <laughs> she would never use that much. I got, anymore. I got this uh, double I video I card for uh, <laughs> Facebook games. They said it was good. That, that's kind of the point they're making. There, yeah, that, yeah. You don't necessarily. Sometimes you don't necessarily need some of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. I can see that. All right. Uh, number nine is a little tricky, but lossless music sounds better than MP3s. Um, the point they're making is that lossless music doesn't necessarily sound better. It depends on the bit rate. And you can have high bit rates on lossless and lossy formats. Yeah. And I, unless like it's like what you get those insane ones that go in your ears, really nice ones. Yeah. I can't really tell the difference between lossless and MP3. No, I can't either. So. Uh, number eight, Android task killers are necessary for good performance. Really? They say no. Nah. Oh. Nah. <laughs> number seven, jailbreaking your phone is illegal. It is not. Really? Um, it is not illegal. It'll void your warranty, but jailbreaking is not illegal. Now, what oh, you okay. may be doing with jailbreaking might be like All right. free apps, but the jailbreaking part is not illegal. All right, I knew that. that. I knew that. Yeah. Number six myth, Mac users don't need to worry about malware. Fuck no. It's everywhere on yeah, Mac. it's everywhere. 
Mac God, are Macs are really bad at pop ups. The MacUser.org. <laughs> go there. I mean that'll Don't that'll give there. you a good <laughs> that'll give you a good demonstration on, you know, the malware <laughs> problems. <laughs> this one I'm I'm surprised they put it on here because I thought everyone knew that this wasn't true, but uh, you should buy an extended war- warranty for new gadgets. No, they're usually worthless. Did you know that? <laughs> that you shouldn't buy an extended warranty for new gadgets? We're talking to Camilla right now, just yeah. so you know. No matter how careful you are, we've all broken at least one gadget in our lives, and it may be tempted. you may have been tempted by an extended warranty at the time. However, extended warranties aren't all they're cracked up to be. Sometimes they only cover half the things that could go wrong, or sometimes the chance of your device falling are just plain slim. Instead, you're better off setting up an extended warranty fund yourself. As long as you aren't really clumsy, you'll probably come out ahead in the end. Yeah, like I'm probably not going to get one when I get a new TV. So, I, yeah, nine yeah. times out of ten, you never end up really. Yeah, I bought a four-year one for the TV. And, and I have a lot now of times, the manufacturer's warranty will cover something that goes yeah. wrong. Unless you buy than, something like refurbished. Yeah. yeah, rather than buying like an extended warranty when you buy something at Target, sometimes the manufacturer's warranty will already cover that, and that comes with the machine. But yeah, like I bought a four year on my TV and didn't need to use it. It was a waste of like two hundred extra dollars. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get a warranty for my TV. So, so yeah. I'm well, so I'm really pissing in the wind, guys. Look out! Like, <laughs> I'm really careful with my expensive gadgets. So yeah, and like, what all could go wrong with your TV? Hopefully, you're not wall mounting it if you didn't get a. Uh, I uh, dead pixels. <laughs> I have a fucking hair in my LCD screen, so whenever something's really white, you just see a nice fucking hair. <laughs> Whose hair is it? Um, I don't know. It show- I was using an air can to spray the vents out one day, and there must have been like one of my hairs from the fan or something, and I think it shot down and got between my screen. That sucks. Yeah. Is there any way you can fix it? Does that nope, count? it's been like that for the eight years I've owned it. Huh. It happened like the first six months I had it, too. I was fucking pissed. <laughs> Dude, open it up and get it out. Nah, I'm good. (laughs) Number four, you should fully discharge your laptop battery every time. Uh, The reason people believe this is it's left over from the old nickel cadmium batteries that suffer from the memory effect. Yeah, no, lithiums are fantastic. Lithium does not suffer from this effect. Lithiums are normally pretty good. Yeah, (laughs) it's a bad luck, Brian. Right. Do you want to read it out loud, Andy? All right. So if you guys don't know what the meme is, Bad Luck Brian's just a kid that does something, but then the outcome is horrible, and the picture's pretty good. But uh, it says, tries to tries to scratch his itchy asshole with aggressive fart, shits himself. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, password-protected Wi-Fi networks are safe from hackers. I no. Think, yeah. I can do that. Is this... Yeah. It's, some of these seem like it's like for... Like people Scare. that don't know yeah. a lot about because like yeah no they're not safe from hackers like WPA two though I guess the max it takes is like someone said like three years or something to hack it I know um God what is it called how safe is my password that's a cool website that's a cool website yeah. yeah the password I used would apparently take like one point two trillion years to crack shit all right nice so I gotta get the fucking password never mind I was gonna say our password for the uh, have you checked the, the three combo password? No, I haven't. Should I Ooh, check it right now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's let's see it. It's probably not going to be as good as <laughs> Just so you guys know, it's Alligator 7. <laughs> <laughs> Try it. But then we'll know they're listening if our shit gets hacked. Hey. Yeah, that'll be awesome. <laughs> it's perfect. What a good idea. How, oh, how secure is my password.net? Yeah. All right, let's put it in the podcast password. See, mine has two capitals and a number. So Mine's got a capital and a number. It would take a desktop PC about 97 billion years to hack your password. Holy shit. Well, I guess we have a pretty good password. Yeah. Then. Wow. I think we just have it on length, though. <laughs> like, maybe they're just doing, like... Try a hand banana. <laughs> Six days. <laughs> Admin. <laughs> Yeah, admin. <laughs> Six seconds. Uh, in the top 740 most used passwords, it would be cracked almost instantly. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's. Yep. Yep. If you just put in derp, it would be point zero zero one seconds for. Oh uh, my PC god! Crack the password. All right, back to the list. Number two, peer block will keep you safe and anonymous on BitTorrent. Not really. Yeah. 
It's it's good to have it, but yeah. it's not safe. BitTorrent's not good to have anymore. Yeah, we'll get into that here in a little bit. Ooh. Number one is insert tweak here. We'll speed up your computer. No, I'm yeah. I hate those. Yeah. We'll just tweak this. No, like turn it down. Buy my clean PC. Oh God, the, those commercials are so fucking bad. Uh, Make my computer fast now. Dot com. Finally fast. Dot com. Yeah, like, finally fast. My computer is fast. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> finally fast. Dot com. Yeah. What's they, the name? They Make say. Whoa. They say the name a hundred times too. Like finally fast. Finally fast. Like the head finally. on commercial. Yeah, head, head on. on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. <laughs> Have you guys tried that? No. no. If you apply it directly to your forehead, stuff happens. <laughs> no, I can't tell you. It's part of the contract I signed. <laughs> but it has the things that you want to happen happen. <laughs> will I finally? Will my balls finally drop? Sure. <laughs> Why not, Camilla? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! This is a peaceful podcast. That was. I think that might have been the first punch thrown in this podcast. I accidentally punched Skyler one time off podcast, but it wasn't oh. here. Remember that when he was trying to eat one of my Gardettos? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> she like popped me in the face. I, well, I meant to hit the the rye chip out of his hand, but the thing is, it was already in his mouth by the time I did it. So he had to punch it out of my mouth. So yeah, I basically hit him right. In the did face. it come it out was, of your mouth? No, it oh. wasn't like Rocky, where he's like, Phew, and then teeth and the rye chip unharmed fly out, and he catches it and crushes it. No. <laughs> Uh, the U.S. Six Strikes anti-piracy scheme has been delayed. Oh, now we're hitting each other around here. Hey, now. Andy, kick his ass. I'll slap him back into it. Dude, she's got bad slaps. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. It's about as bad as Erica. So. <laughs> Soon, the file-sharing habits of millions of BitTorrent users in the United States will be monitored as part of an agreement between the MPAA, the IRAA, and all major internet service providers. Damn. <clears throat> Those caught sharing copyright, copyrighted works will receive several warning messages and will be punished if they continue to infringe. However, it appears that it will be delayed and will not meet, meet its much-discussed July start date. Yeah. Good. See, here's the thing, which they say they want to make it real consumer-friendly. You get six warnings before anything happens. Make them six good downloads. <laughs> yeah. Six warnings. And even after that, um, the things that start happening is like slower connection speeds and temporary disconnections. Oh. Which is really weird because the RIA and the MPA are not known for subtlety. Yeah. <laughs> Normally it's like you download one song, okay, you owe us 11 billion dollars. <laughs> Hey, you know your blind guy downloaded porn. Well, I, I bet it sounded great. <laughs> Cough up, old man. <laughs> Dead person? What are you in necrophilia? But you know, reversed. So they freak. Will, they will be monitoring all BitTorrent traffic, which is why you shouldn't use BitTorrent anymore. Yeah. Um. To do you find, have any programs you'd recommend besides BitTorrent? You know, unfortunately, I don't. But if you go to Google, um, I know there's like a hundred articles on it. Uh, it's all over the place. I'm sure you could always just hit up uh, Alphabet Soup. What's that? Uh, 4chan. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Um, and to monitor the traffic, they are going to use a third party that is impartial to monitor some traffic. <laughs> oh, okay. So I thought like a third party software. No, no, no. So the MPA and the RIA are not oh, monitoring good. the traffic. Good. Neither is the ISP. It's good. Be another company. Oh. And they're using another company to see if the company they want to use is good enough to be used. So there's a lot of wow. parties all over this place. Well, like fifth it's... and sixth parties. It's crazy. All right. According to the Apple Store, jailbreak is a censored word. Fucking Apple. <laughs> what? Apple is now filtering jailbreak in the Apple Store. How so? By like... uh, putting asterisks in it. So like if you search if something says jailbreak in it it'll say like j asterisk 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 really dude I, fucking apple like I, I don't understand yeah I they, just they don't want people to look up how to jailbreak stuff like their phones and at the okay. apple store I mean like yeah huh? it's okay I yeah but now Skyler there isn't on this story okay where some users have you just stare me down every time you play that some users like, have reported that. They are no longer being censored. <laughs> hmm. so, so it's all, it's just Apple products that'll yes. do that. So there's that. That sometimes it won't be out. What? And wh what is, whoa, wait, is, wait, that? is it just Apple products in the store? 
in the store, if you oh, search something God. that has jailbreak in the name, it'll be censored. All right. Got it. Okay. Maybe. I'm, Some people are not having that anymore. All right. And that was that was a, a what to the story? That was an update! To the story. <laughs> Some believe Siri, Apple's new Siri device, is a driving force behind Apple's record-breaking iPhone 4S sales. Stumble over my words. Better take a little drinky poo. Um, Siri's <laughs> get a little liquid courage. Ah. <laughs> the way they advertised it was like Siri's godsend to Earth. <laughs> well, yeah, they had like Samuel L. Jackson and Zoe Deschanel and stuff like doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, a number of users have found that Siri is not as helpful as Apple leads customers to believe. However, um, the company has been saying, if you're not happy with Siri, buy a new phone. <laughs> Smug I'm gonna, motherfuckers. I'm going to take my ball, and I'm going to go home, Apple bitch. was sued in March by a New York man, Frank Fazio, who alleges that Apple series commercials are misleading and deceptive. Apple told him, just buy a new phone. <laughs> oh, my God. GTFO. They, they say Lol. that uh, the people that are complaining about Siri said they have had problems almost immediately and are not taking advantage of Apple's 30-day return policy or the one-year warranty, which all remain in effect. No. Oh. Yeah. So basically, Apple's just saying, well, if you're not pleased, you can return it. Yeah, but then you got to worry about... that. That's no charge to Apple, dude. That fucks you over, though, with your contract. Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, basically, that's what they're saying. Same All right. Bitching. <laughs> Could be a little bitch. All mm-hmm. right, so if you buy a Windows 7 PC in the coming months, guess how much it'll cost you to upgrade to Windows 8 Pro? Eighty nine dollars. No. Fifty. Uh, lower. Is it thirty? Lower. Free? Is no, it, higher. No. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. <gasps> It'll cost you fifteen dollars to upgrade to Windows eight Pro if you buy a Windows seven PC in the next coming month. Oh. We believe starting June the first week of June. Oh, that fucks. I mean I can't get it. Yeah. I'm not Though they're Windows, upgrade Windows eight, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not mm, not too uh, impressed with. It looks like yeah. it's kind of. I'll stick with seven. Quite a drastic change. I'm just like, why? I'll wait for nine because eight will probably suck. Yeah, kind of like Vista yeah, did. Like Vista. Yeah. But I, I find that interesting. Yeah, that's cool. Pretty cheap. Pretty cheap. I remember the upgrades. If you just wanted to do standalone when they came out, they were like eighty bucks when Windows Seven came out. Yeah. So, because that's what I have is. I upgraded my laptop to Windows Seven, and I got a discount because I used my. Uh, Metro email. Nice. Yeah, yeah, student discounts are awesome. Student discount. Nice. Worked out nice. All right, guys, that will do it for technology news. You ready for news? Yeah. Let's do it. Main event. Are the newspaper and the internet letting you down? Oh, they have the internet on computers now. We're here to give you the best of the best. This is news. All right, Turkish villagers mistake a bird as an Israeli spy. <laughs> it had a beard, man. I'm telling you. It was a bearded eagle, you heard sir. that squawk? <laughs> a poor bird was dragged into a case of spying recently when uh, they, in a southeastern Turkish village, the villagers raised alarm when they saw a common European bee eater lying dead in a field. The cause for alarm was that the little bird had a metal ring around its leg which stamped Israel. Oh, my God. Now, they were told by the Turkish Agricultural Ministry that the bird was safe. It's not uncommon for countries or organizations to put a little marker on a bird to track... Migration. Yeah, migration patterns. Well, you know, of course the village does not believe this, and they're still raising a big deal about it. I don't know why you would stamp your country on something that was supposed to be a spy device. Why would you tie a red ribbon on your black suitcase at the airport? So you can tell which suitcase is yours. Mm-hmm. You don't want someone calling dibs on your bird. <laughs> I mean, this is my bird. I'm from Israel, so Mother it's mine. Fucker, that's my bird. A Michigan teenager found an unexpected item in his Arby's sandwich. Uh, a penis. A bird. No, it was not a bird. <laughs> a penis. Actually, no, fun a- fact about fun. that: a the bird is the word. So that's true. Um, I'm gonna say fingertip. <laughs> uh, a piece of a human finger. Uh, do they have a picture? No. Damn. Damn. Ryan Hart, who was 14 years old, was eating the roast beef sandwich when he bit into a piece he described as particularly rub- rubbery. Oh. 
He spit out the item, which turned out to be part of a finger, measuring about one inch long and one quarter inch thick. Dude, that's a chunk! <laughs> the incident occurred at an Arby's restaurant on Northwest Avenue in Jackson, Michigan on May 11th. Oh. That's like down to the first knuckle. That's like half a finger. Someone was disposing of a body. Yeah. I and at Arby's. <laughs> That oh. roast beef man. <laughs> Health officials said a worker likely left her area after cutting her finger on a meat slicer. If you cut off that kind of chunk, yeah. how do you not know? Yeah, dude. Like, how does somebody... I'd freak out, but I'd still want my fingertip. Yeah, how, how is somebody not aware? Okay, I'm going to just go to the thing that maybe some of our listeners are thinking. Immigrants. Maybe she didn't have uh, any sort of uh, medical funding. And she was worried she was going to get deported. <laughs> Oh, that's, Dios me on my finger. He didn't word it very well, but that's a good point. If yeah. they were to go, if they got hurt themselves and went to the doctor, they might be like, hey, why don't you have any information on file? And then, you know, or this social turn security them over number the, is not legit. Yeah. One, One two, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would nine, contest ten, that Michigan's what? probably not the place you're going to find them. And if it's at an Arby's, chances are it was like a high school kid. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, maybe he was just pissed he was maybe going to get grounded. <laughs> For cutting off his finger? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking mom told he was, me. He was mad that take he the car be able keys to text away. anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just upset. <laughs> oh, man, I can't, can't text. <laughs> All right. Or maybe someone threatened him. I swear to God, if you cut your fingertip off, I'm going to fire you. I'm going to fucking fire you. <laughs> oh, shit, they can't find out. <laughs> <laughs> Merrick Barden was a man who had cancer. He had a 1.5 kilogram cancerous growth on the side of his abdomen. Now, doctors had to go in and remove the growth, and they also had to remove six ribs. Ooh. And part of his diaphragm and the lining of his left lung. Damn. And you know what they rebuilt him with? S- Pig sheepskin. Parts. Birds. <laughs> <laughs> How about concrete? What? Nice! <laughs> I approve. Dude, this man's going to fuck some shit up. <laughs> or he's going to walk with a limp. Yeah. Dude, is this torso going to be a lot heavier? Um, Maybe That's a good question. Like, they don't say in the article. Yeah. But yeah, they don't say it. Um, but they... He can never swim. He's just going to be like... Oh, down. The medics replaced his ribs with a 25 centimeter square acrylic cement panel. And use muscle from his shoulder to repair the diaphragm. That's so that sounds badass. that sounds epically big. Twenty five centimeter for your body. Square centimeter. Yeah, for your body. Yeah, that's big. Yep. Acrylic Jesus. Cement. That yeah, that's pretty epic. Dude, if he ever gets in a fight, he just needs to lean into it with that thing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, fuck your hand. He just needs that, and then now he needs to replace one of his hands with a metal claw, and then he's Doctor Doom. Yeah, he, he should get into boxing, and the other coach is gonna have to tell him, "Okay, now look, you need to bob, weave, don't punch him in the cement." <laughs> Kick him in the rocks. No, it'll break my leg. <laughs> <laughs> he starts getting. He's like, "This is fucking badass." So he starts just. I am a superhero, <laughs> right? Here and here. <laughs> Everywhere else are normal. <laughs> but I'm going to fight crime. <sighs> All right, guys. So I'm going to put you in this situation. You're inside a Walmart. Okay. What am I doing? I don't like where this is going. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll tell you what you're doing in a moment. First, we're just going to start off, see if you guys can get it right off the bat. What's the worst thing that could happen to you in a Walmart? I shit my pants. <laughs> Funny story about that. If you want, I can tell. Really? You got a funny story? Yeah. No, do tell. Uh, <laughs> I, I uh, ate at Who Hot. Okay. And, uh, That's funny the worst story to begin off with. Funny thing about Who Hot Mongolian Grill. I get vicious, aggressive diarrhea every time. But only for one poop. So after Who Hot, I went to Walmart with Erica. And... We went over to greeting cards because I had to go pick out a birthday card for one of my friends. And I'm like, all right, this might be my last fart before I have to go home and, you know, go to the bathroom. Okay. So I'm like, I, I better live it up now. So then I started and then I'm like, oh, no, there has been a mistake in my calculations. So I uh, totally play this off. Erica's standing right next to me. She doesn't even know. So I'm like. I think I'm going to get this card. Hold on. I have to go to the bathroom. 
Okay, I'll go with you. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> God damn it. So, like, I'm walking as, you know, with uh, boxer briefs full of shit as casually as I can to the front bathroom. And then I'm in there, and it's Mission Impossible style. I'm just like, what the fuck am I going to do? Uh, uh, I don't know what I'm doing now. Because I was just in the bathroom, and I was it had already been too long for the thinking process. So I had just ditched my underwear, <laughs> and then I had to wait for ev- – like, it seemed like everyone had to go to the bathroom at that time. So I had to wait for everyone to leave and then, like, t- carry my poop bag of underwear to the trash can and dispose of it and then leave. And just, I just went commando for the rest of the day. But So, yeah, shitting my pants at Walmart. Final answer, Alex. <laughs> I, I never laughed this hard on this fucking podcast. That was such a good last story. Uh, my fucking ribs hurt. Rebuild them. We're gonna rebuild them uh, with things here at the podcast. We're gonna use stuffed animal Pikachu, Monopoly pieces, and the dollar that marker. jar. Water bottle and the dollar <laughs> jar. All right. All right, let's go on with the story here. Okay. What, what is the worst thing? Yeah. Is it worse than that? Um, um, it's not necessarily it? the worst thing. Well, you know, see, you you set up your own home run there, so like we're, we just started the story. Okay. I can't tell you yet. Okay. So we kind of dragged it out. Andy, what, what what's a horrible thing that could happen in Walmart? Find a dead body. Well, something that would happen to you. Be dead. Get Gone. shot. Get shot. Uh, that's a good one. Okay, what, what's the worst thing that could happen to you in the gardening department? Oh my god, a lawnmower runs over you. No, no. Um, you step on a rake and it hits you in the face. What's, that was the my wor- second. what's the worst animal you can encounter in the gardening department? Squirrel. A bear. A raccoon. A squirrel? Hold on, let's pull it back. <laughs> really? I don't know, a squirrel okay? in nature? A squirrel in nature. How about a rattlesnake? No, 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 is it Ralph Bear? Oh, sh- Oh, that would have been a good one, Ralph Bear. Mika Craig said the reptile. Pounced as he was shopping at the store in the northwestern area of Washington. The 47-year-old stomped on the serpent and was later treated at a hospital with anti-venom. Oh, shit. Walmart apologized and said it was investigating how the snake entered the store. Outside, maybe? <laughs> Probably from the exit. Are, are there a lot of rattlesnakes in Washington? Yeah. I don't know. Are there? Are yeah. there? That doesn't seem like a rattlesnake. Yeah, no, I'd they're... say like maybe like... I thought I thought this was happening in like Bay... Like uh, like Nevada or Arizona. It seems like it would be a warmer climate for rattlesnakes. Well, Washington's actually fairly warm. uh, It's um, deceptively warm because of the China Gulf Stream blows warm air from the equator up across the uh, uh, Pacific Ocean right through Washington. But it can't be warm enough in the winter. Hmm? For a a rattlesnake? It it really only gets down to like... They don't migrate. Yeah, but it it only gets down to like maybe fifty. A fucking like forty thousand snakes are migrating and be like, oh, I uh, was going on a driving run with me. Still seems a little surprising to me, given well, that they're cold blooded animals. Well, so, anywho, even, even if it snows there, there's heat waves, so like snow will melt really quick and it warms up. So I don't know. <laughs> they we'll hibernate. About a rattlesnake. Yeah, <laughs> a cold blooded animal. This has gone on too long. <laughs> okay, but yeah, rattlesnakes are feasibly possible to live in. They. They say they believe this is an isolated incident. Well, thank God. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, we should accidentally... Sh- one at every Walmart. We accidentally <laughs> shipped one rattlesnake with uh, the Aaron's lawnmowers this season. We're going to have to get a recall on those rattlesnakes. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Geez, Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> it's, uh, it's part of the new Adventure Walmart program. Did it say how venomous the snake was? It's a rattlesnake. It did it's not say how venomous it regular was. Regular North American one. Venomous as a rattlesnake. It's one of enough the that deadliest you, in, the, in North America, it, which isn't really saying a lot. It's mm-hmm. only a few deadly snakes. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. <clears throat> to Florida. All right, so you're a postal worker, all right? All right. And um, you, you said you got hurt. I don't know. Got I hurt like... in 2009. <laughs> what's you go the, postal? What, what's the... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Going postal. Uh, you shouldn't use puns on this podcast. This this isn't that is this isn't a place for that. <laughs> this yeah, isn't this a place is a, for puns. We're serious here. Mm-hmm. Super serious. Super serious. Shit my pants th- serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In May 2009, she uh, she, uh Jacqueline V Myers said Whoa. she was hurt. Yeah, yeah, no relation. It's spelled differently. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah, no first D. 
Oh, okay. I've seen that. There's a lot of those. Yeah. Stupid. The bastard Myers. Yeah, said, uh, she's hurt. She can't bend at the waist. She can't do her job anymore. Was looking for a workman's comp and got a lighter route. All right. But, unfortunately, she was caught running the Boston Marathon. Oh, shit. Fucking idiot. She has also competed in more than 80 different athletic events. Oh, shit. Including triathlons. One oh, of the funniest shit. things is, uh, since her time of her supposed injury to the time she got caught, uh, her times in the triathlons were getting better. I wonder why. It's because she has more time to train. Yeah. <laughs> she could face a maximum of 10 years in jail for the first conviction and five for the second conviction of healthcare fraud. At least she's going to be fit so she can fight off all the people who yeah. are trying to finagle her. <laughs> finagle it's a technical term. Finagle her doodle. Yeah. <laughs> Mush other vaginas into her vagina. I don't know what happens in that kind of thing. So, so once again, serious podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I made the basket. Woo. <laughs> All right. So another woman. I don't even know how to start the story. God damn it. Go into it. It's just <sighs> dry. I'm thinking of two things to do here. Headline read. <laughs> There was a woman who reported that $42,000 worth of jewelry had been stolen from her home. All right. So police investigated. We're looking for the jewelry. Found it at a pawn shop. Uh, the local Did she sell it? Gold store. No, no, no. The person who stole the jewelry sold it for, guess how much? How much? Uh, 800 uh, Lower than that. $200. Higher than, higher than 200 350 $500. Oh, $42,000 worth of jewelry sold for $500. I bet he didn't even haggle. Probably not. Yeah, he probably just stole just it. Laundering. Damn. Courtney Lynn Combs was the suspect, <clears throat> and she fessed up when con- you know, confronted with this right away. Um, she was allowed into the home. Apparently, it was a friend of the woman that she had stole the jewelry oh, from. Oh, shit. Now, you would think if he stole that much jewelry, you'd get something like some ducks in a row and sell it to people that are not going to buy it for really low prices, like a pawn shop. Yeah. <laughs> like maybe go to like a cash for gold place. Or a pawn shop really far out, out, like yeah. in the next city or something. Like that, yeah, that's real far. <laughs> <laughs> the next city over, <laughs> when they're actively looking for it. I don't think they'd go to Council Bluffs if I were to like rob someone from West no, O. No one also, wants to go to Council Bluffs <laughs> for anything. Yeah. That's also across state lines. Well, all right, but they would go to Lincoln. Would they? I bet you. Or they at least, you know, phone down there. For Grand yeah. Theft, I bet you they would go to Lincoln to look for... 42000 Yeah. And, like, you know what? Just don't sell it all at one pawn shop. Like, disperse it a little. Come yeah. on. I'm looking for this, 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 and this. Oh, yeah, I have all of those things in one pile in this <laughs> bag. And the name of the person who did it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, our final story in What the Florida. Two, two people, Darian Green and a 17-year-old boy who is not listed because he's a minor... Walked into a home to steal some things. The problem? The home was being fumigated. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Only in Florida. <laughs> yeah, they put those fucking tents and they shit. The, yeah, the tent was on there. Oh, the circus is in town. Let's go. <laughs> uh, there's a quote. They're obviously not very smart to go inside a house full of poison. Oh, said the resident of the house. Jesus. Ballsy. Yeah. The family thought that someone might try to break in their home during the fumigation, so they placed surveillance cameras inside the home. Oh, my God. A family member who had logged in that uh, at the right moment that night saw the burglars inside the home while lifting their shirts over their faces. Because <laughs> nothing keeps poison yeah. out of your lungs like shirt on face. Yeah. Uh, that technique they say, tried and true. They say that's that's you know very brave of them. I wouldn't kill myself for an Xbox. I would. <laughs> Do you still not have one? I don't. Um, PS3. PS3. Just do it. PS3. Just do it. Buy a Nike? Think of that. Yeah. Just do it. Think of that. Think of that Blu-ray drive. Yeah. What am I going to do with it? Oh, you can play. You can play high dev movies and pretty good games and stuff. The Microsoft Xbox video game console was stolen among several items, including jewelry. Oh, go to a pawn shop sell that jewelry for 500 bucks yeah while police were outside the house they got a tip that some jewelry that was stolen from the home was being taken to a swap shop flea market huh? police then recovered the jewelry but they don't say anything about the xbox <laughs> shit what about the xbox <laughs> that's what we're here for people <laughs> fuck hard heading news you know what i always had a thought maybe you guys know 
when they fumigate a house or you do those little gas bombs that you put in your house and they spray out, uh-huh. does the shit ever like dissolve? Because like if you're gonna sit in your furniture, that's gonna be in your furniture. I'm pretty sure it dissipates. They got yeah, they gotta have something worked out there. Yeah, cause or they when they fumigate a house, they have to put a tent around it to not let the shit out. That stuff's gonna be in your furniture and your walls. Yeah, there, there's well, gotta... don't they like wrap up your furniture or something? Like I think I don't... there's a system. Yeah, like it's just something I've never actually like, had answered. I don't know. If you know that answer, email us at 3hitcombopodcast.gmail.com. You could uh, put it on our Facebook, facebook.com slash 3 combo podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or you could put it on our Twitter. Scott, that's your cue. Huh? 3 hit combo PC. Oh, sorry. I've, I've never actually been on Twitter. So. You don't have to be for uh, knowing our Twitter handle. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's three. It's not not important to me. Three hit combo PC. Well, it should. With the password well, if I, alligator if I were to get seven. On Twitter, I would sign in as the three hit combo PC. PC stands for podcast. Exactly. But with the password alligator seven. <laughs> yeah, alligator seven. Apparently, it'll take so long for people to hack that. Yeah. Yeah. So good luck, listeners. <laughs> You'll never crack the code. <laughs> and you can also find us on YouTube. YouTube.com, you know how to get there. Search 3Hit Combo Podcast. And GPXGaming.net. Search 3Hit Combo Podcast. There's a, one thing that I've noticed when I look up 3Hit Combo and I don't type in the podcast. I get a lot of, like, God of War videos. Yeah. I don't know why. I've seen a bunch of Street Fighter. So. Interesting. So there you go. You have to type in that podcast or you're going to get a bunch of, like, weird video game clips. <laughs> Unless you make it super popular. Yeah. Yeah. Then someday, yeah, so we'll be number that. one. Send us some likes. I know I thumbs up the videos when I remember to do it. That's me. That one like, that's me. <laughs> Yay. Yay. So, for Skylar, Andy, and Camilla, Woo! this is Matt signing out. Thank you.